I would want to remind ourselves of some Facebook. There is a Facebook page that I normally follow faithfully, which has been of great help to me. Although I don't comment anything there, I'm so sure that uh, people don't even know whether I'm there. It's called 52 Weeks, 52 Weeks Savings, something like the Savings Challenge. Savings Challenge. Among us ourselves, is there anybody who is a member of uh, this Facebook group? Could be a silent member, but is there anybody who is a member of this? Ah, mother is saying yes. Yes, I can see yes. Yes, great. Great. Now, these guys, ladies and gentlemen, a silent member, these guys are running a very, very practical savings scheme where they encourage uh, members there to invest. Although I've never seen uh, somebody doing this mathematics, so I'll be able to do this mathematics for you because this model has assisted me to raise uh, serious investment amounts. To raise serious investment amounts. This 52. Normally, what they do. The lady who started this thing, this is a very noble thing, but I know it doesn't, she doesn't know, but it's a noble thing, a noble thing. Silent member, thank you very much. So they'll tell you on a weekly basis, you invest. So we have weeks here. So we have week one, week two, week three, all the way up to week number 52. So how do we start our investment? They'll tell you in this case here, the cash, you invest. They'll tell you here that you save, not invest, but save. You save 100 in week one. When you go to week two, they want you to stretch more. They don't want you to keep on saving just 100, 100, 100. No. In week two, they tell you in this case here too, uh, add. So week two, you save 200. So week three, we save how much? 300. If you're following, week four, we save how much here? If you're following, then by the 52nd week, we will save how much? How much shall we save in week number 52? Can somebody in this case, or somebody who is following? Somebody who is following? somebody who is following 5,200. Actually, to even make this thing better, allow me to pick it up from week number 49. From week number 49. Please allow me to pick this investment scheme, this saving scheme from week 49, 50, 51, 52. I know you guys have already seen the series. So it means that in week number 49, I will look for a whole 4,900 save save in a place where I will not be able to go and do what here, remove, right? I'm locking this up, I'm locking this up, I'm locking this up, I'll be talking about locking up. And of course, the very best avenues to lock this up is in the money market funds, is in the money market funds. So we have here 4,900, we have in this case here 5,000 here, we have in this case here 5,100, 5,200. I know most of these guys who have said they are great members, most of these guys who are saying they are great members, I'm so sure week one, like when we start 2023, week one, they'll not have a problem. Week two, they'll not have a problem. Week three, they'll not have a problem. Week four, they'll not have a problem. But the moment we hit like week number 30, week number 30, week one of week 30, or rather of this, so we talk of week 31, they will be required to save 3,100. Week 32, they save 3,200. Week 33, they save 3,300. Week 34, they save 3,400. So you can see in those four weeks, they'll be required yet to save like how much? Like 13,000 in that month alone. They'll be required to save like 13,000. Once it has reached there, most people in this case here, they start dropping out. But ladies and gentlemen, you as a young accountant who has just been employed, if in this case here, you are to squeeze your belt a little bit and then ensure that you follow through this, you start with 100, all the way up to week number 52, where you put down there 5,200. How much will you have raised in total? How much will you have raised in total? Remember the sequence and the series that we taught you guys in high school. The sequence and the series that we taught you guys in high school. Sequence sum, we used to say it is a N over two into first term plus last term. So you take N over to N, the number of uh, savings, they are 52 over two into the very first term here is 100. The first term here is 100 plus the last term, which is 5,200. 
So are you able to give me this number? So this, of course, will give me 26. So is there somebody who can give me, this is 100 plus 5,200, that is 5,000. You see body mass. First of all, you must handle what we have in brackets, body mass. So it'll be 100 plus 5,200, we get 5,300. Whatever amount we get, you multiply times 26. Is there somebody who can give me this total? Yeah, according to math, 36,000, no, 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 it can't be. You haven't used your mathematics very well here. It can't be. It can't be. It's quite a lot of money. It's quite a lot of money. It's quite a lot of money. 137,800. So somebody in this case, ladies and gentlemen, who takes up this scheme will be able to do what you have to save 137,800. We'll be able to save 137,800. Now, I would want us to do some simulations here. I would want us to do some simulations here, some simulations here, some simulations here. And to help me do this, I would want to help my friend who is uh, quite uh, excellent in Excel called Omondi, who actually is uh, my colleague, so that he can get to share with us some simulations as we get to discuss and see like, where do we get started? So Buana, Fred, or other Clinton, if you're able to hear Mualimu, are you able to share your screen? Are you able to share your screen? And uh, once you share your screen, yes. Now, I would want us to start uh, from scratch. If possible, you can open a new sheet, Tomondi. If possible, you can open a new sheet. Great. So we want us to number the weeks. So could you kindly number there week number one up to week number 52? Week number one up to week number 52. Week one up to week number 52. Up to week number 52, I can see is using sequence and series. Up to week 52. Okay. So column wise, remember, thank you so much. Uh, have you listed all the weeks? If you could try control shift down, let's see whether you have been able to go up to 52. Let's see whether you've got, thank you so much. Then get back home, get back home. So I would want us to look at uh, a cash savings of a hundred, the one that we began with. So week number one, give me another column there. Give me a hundred bob. Your Excel has an issue. I don't know, will we be able to manage? Shall we manage? We shall be patient. We shall be patient because we must do these simulations really. We must do these simulations really. We shall be patient. Yeah. So please do 100 there. And then I would want you to take to the very last one, which will be, okay, right, right uh, week 2, 200. Week 2, 200. 200. Highlight the two. Highlight the two, the two cells. Please drag down up to week 52. Drag down that somebody in this case who is investing uh, under the 100, uh, so 52. So could you kindly give me the total down there to see how much somebody who is investing 100 in week one, 200 in week two. Thank you so much. We can see 137,800. Let's do another simulation of somebody now who starts with the 200 series. 200 series. 200, right week two, 400, because it's a serious person, week two, 400. And like you can see, so could you kindly copy the two? Could you kindly highlight the two and then you drag down? You drag down, you drag down to week 52. Great. How about the total? You can say control right. Thank you so much. So that gives me 275,600. Let's now talk over a serious, a serious investor now. Somebody who takes the 1,000 savings plan, like myself. 1,000 savings plan, 1,000 savings plan, put 1,000 there. All right. So 2,000, if it's 1,000, go to 2,000 week two. 2000, highlight the two, highlight the two, highlight the two, highlight the two, highlight the two. Great, please now drag this thing down. Control right, control right for us to get that. Uh, you can expand that, yes. Yeah, so that gives me 1,000,000, 1,000,000. 
376,000. Thank you very much, Omondi. That is what I wanted us to demonstrate in these simulations. It's a practical simulation. It's a practical simulation. It's a practical simulation. It's a practical simulation. Thank you very much. Now you can stop sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great. So now, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that I would really want you to appreciate. Even without Excel, because I'm so sure there are those among us who fear Excel. If, for example, you go for the 1,000 savings, you shall be talking of 26 always into A, A, A. In this case here will be what here? A will be 1,000. And then the last term will be 52,000, 52,000, 52,000. So is there somebody who can do this uh, manually? Manually, and they give me the total. If I get into a savings of the 1,000 series, the 1,000 series, could you kindly tell me what is this 53,000 if you add brackets, body mass times 26? How much are we getting? How much are we getting? Somebody, are we together really, Omar? Omar? 1378,000. 1378,000. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this, of course, is not an easy, this is quite a tough one. Somebody who is able to save this, look at, for example, the last four weeks. The last four weeks, it, it means that you save 49,000, 50,000, 51,000, 52,000. It means that on the last last month, which is the month of December, you save 200,000. You save 200,000. It may not be very easy. It may not be very easy, but trust you me, this thing is practical. Normally, what we do, we encourage students here to start with which one? These savings of a hundred. Savings of a hundred. Savings of a hundred. What do you think of these savings of a hundred? Is this achievable? Let's start from there first. Because you see, even if we are talking about investments, if I don't show you how to save, then we are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. So this one of a hundred, you start with a hundred week one of January. You go to 200 in week two. Yeah, this is very possible. And then I would want to give you a secret that I use because now myself, I'm quite a high save. I save quite a lot. And I think because of savings, that is why very many people keep on asking me, Mwalimu, how comes you're putting like, uh, how many hours do I put in a day? I'm full-time employed. I'm an employee, right? I do group accounts, day in, day out. I do like seven hours there every day. Once I, reach, uh, I get out of there, I reach at RCM, I start looking at books you're producing. We are in this case, you're doing uh, classes. I'm able to put in a lot of hours because of what here, these savings, and of course the loans. The loans that I have, ladies and gentlemen, they're mind boggling. These are kind of loans you wake up at uh, 2 a.m., you remember them? You start doing something constructive. Right? Because I know comfortability, being comfortable is an enemy of what here? Yeah? Progress is an enemy of progress. So I can see Julius Mwati putting up uh, his hand. Julius, would you want me to unmute you so that you can address us? Julius, let me just see whether it's by mistake. Julius. Now, Julius, you can unmute yourself. And that's very good, actually. Remember, we are here to share ideas. If you have an idea, you put up your hand. I'll be able to unmute you, and then you talk to us without fearing anything, without fearing anybody. Mwathi, was it my mistake? Must have been my, my mistake if it's taking that long. Must have been my mistake. Okay, so then I'll lower your hand. Yes, great. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, remember like what we discussed during the day. If you save this amount by the end of the year, you will be able to get some amount that is good enough to enable you buy a government infrastructure or infrastructural bond, right? For avoidance of doubt, we said that the minimum amount that you need for you to buy a treasury bond under the category of infrastructure is 100,000, is 100,000. So if you go this way, then you will have raised very easily your seed of entering into the bond market. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. And this is the mistake that uh, 
I've always seen my friends doing. What my friends will do, these guys will go and I've seen, you'll start seeing them. If you are in week uh, 52, weeks challenge, you'll start seeing those, uh, I call them, let me not call them names, because this video will be uploaded on YouTube. So what they'll do, they'll go and look for some tiny boxes, very tiny boxes. Of course, these guys are uh, doing a good job. So they look for tiny boxes, and then, of course, they'll put some hole somewhere here. A hole, of course, uh, which will not be able to allow them to put their hand in. So then week number one, what do they do? They throw this here. Week number two, week number three, 300. And then at the end of the year, what do they do? They'll come and uh, now demolish the box. And then, of course, as they demolish, they always videotape themselves, and then they post for us. They have never commented there, but I normally like that process. It's quite a motivating, but I always keep on wondering, I mean, don't these guys know that, eh? you know, when you put this money inside this thing, it means automatically you are going to earn zero interest. If you take this money to a bank account, if you take this money to a bank account like KCB, just directly like that, it means by the end of the year, if it's a normal deposit, you will earn zero interest. And that is why some people sat down and thought, I mean, why can't we start this money market what year, money market funds, and ensure that eh, we are paying the interest rate, which is higher than the inflation rate. So then when you talk of money market fund, what is a money market? What is money market? First of all, it will be important for you to know that eh, money market are short-term sources of what here? Yeah, funds. Short-term, right? We expect if you are going to invest in a money market fund, you should be able to withdraw your money in a year, maximum one year. So it's one year or less. When you get into a money market fund, you can put your 100 today and even get it out tomorrow. Although some money market funds will tell you that you know what, if you put 100 today, you can only, you can only start, over, start thinking of withdrawing it after how many weeks? Two weeks. But ideally, a money market fund is supposed to be a liquid thing. If I put in my money even in this minute, I should be able to unlock this thing if I wish and of course take away my cash. It's supposed to be that liquid. It's as good as what here? Yeah, cash. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have got various types of uh, money. What here? Yeah? Money markets. Yeah, we have various types of money markets. A short term investment vehicle, yes. Short term investment vehicle. Great. And it's very important for money markets also to appreciate that uh, this is a short term source of what here? Yeah? Fund. So that as they go to invest these monies elsewhere, because they also go to invest, they get it from us and they take this money elsewhere. They cannot go to invest this money in long-term projects. They must match, it's short-term. These guys may come for their money anytime, given that they may come for their money anytime. So also where I invest this money on their side of the coin, it should be like in treasury bills, which I can liquidate anytime. Otherwise, should members of the public come to a money market fund and then they realize that, uh, hey, I'd put in something and I'm not able to get this money when I need it, of course there will be what they call a bank overrun. People will run and of course, there will be chaos, right? Like currently we have chaos at First Community Bank. First Community Bank. And imagine when you go to First Community Bank, you have, for example, 10 million with them. And then they tell you, you can't withdraw more than 10,000 shillings at a time. Sad. Fortunately, their customer base is small. And that is why we are not hearing a lot of what here, a lot of noise. A lot of noise. Otherwise, if it was a bank like Equity, if Equity was to do like that, I'm telling you it will be actually an East African what here? Yeah? Cry. East African cry. So for money markets, we have to be very careful, especially the money market funds. In this case here, they have to be very, very careful to ensure that they are able to provide liquidity all the time. And actually, that should be the tagline, that you need your money, we always have it. Take it. Take it. Anytime you need your money, you will have it. That should be their tagline in terms of what here, marketing. Now, before I wrap this, what do you think of this scheme? This scheme of 100, is it really quite a far-fetched one? No. I think we can afford this. And if you're going to invest in a money market fund, you will end up getting more than this 137. You know, this is the principal amount. 
But like the money that you invest in week one, it will earn interest for all these 12 months, right? Like that, like that, like that, like, like that. And remember, this money is being compounded in most cases on a monthly. You'll be surprised. By the end of the year, if you go the money market's way, if you go the money market's way, by the end of the year, you could get something like even 10,000 on top of this. Even 5,000 is much better than nothing. You can compute this. But we have got various types of money market fund institutions in this country. Which ones are you guys uh, aware of? Which ones are you guys aware of? Those institutions that are able to provide serious money market fund platforms. CIC. CIC is quite popular. CIC is quite popular. CIC is quite popular. CIC is quite popular. There are two things I always look at when I, I'm selecting a money market fund. I'll always look at uh, number one. Number one. Of course, in this case here, what is their return, rate of return, the rate of return. So the rate of return of CIC is anybody who can Google very fast and give us the rate of return of CIC, money market. Money market, money market, CIC, money market. Ah, they're saying it's 8.9%. Now there is something here you have to be quite uh, clear about. Is this 8.9% after tax, or is it before tax? You know, there is 15% with the holding tax. All money market funds suffer from the 15. They suffer from the 15% with holding tax. It's before tax. Another thing. So in this case here, we have tax. We have tax, 15%. Tax, 15%. Another one, of course, you must also be aware of is the these guys are not... Uh, Catholic priests, you know, Catholic priests are the only ones who came to this world here to serve for free, to serve for free. And the little sisters of uh, the poor, sisters of the poor. Some, so these guys must earn something out of this. So there is a service charge. And most of these MMFs, they charge a service fee of 2%, 2%. Is there any other cost? Any other cost? I don't think so. I don't think so. So in this case here, yeah, basically, there is a 17% cost cost and therefore we must calculate what we call the effective we must calculate what we call the effective rate of interest so the effective rate of interest the effective rate of interest here will be of course i will take the 8.9 percent 8.9 percent into one minus these expenses this expense will run to 0 0.17 17 percent is the same as 0 0.17 0 0.17 Aha, uh -huh, 0 0.17, 0 0.17. So could you kindly, ladies and gentlemen, please give me this. I will talk about the fixed uh, uh, deposits at SACOS, but not today, not today. Today we are talking about MMF. Even the questions you guys are asking, they should be about MMF alone, MMF alone. MMF alone, MMF alone, MMF alone. So is there somebody who can give me this? Is there somebody who has a calculator 8.9% times 0 0.83? 8.9% times 0 0.83, they're giving me 7.38. They're giving me 7.38, 7.38%. Thank you so much. Now, listen, what does this mean? Remember, this is for a whole year. It's per annum. 7.38 is per annum. So what this would mean, ladies and gentlemen, is that if I give CIC today 1,000 shillings, if I give CIC today, a thousand shillings, a thousand shillings, they shall give me an annual interest of how much? A thousand, I forgot that figure. I forgot that figure. I forgot that figure. I must be a lazy one. Was it uh, 7.83, something like that? 7.83, I forgot that figure. Sorry, sorry for that. Was it 7.83? 7.38, thank you so much. So 7.38%. So then, ladies and gentlemen, could you kindly tell me how much will this interest be in terms of money now? How much will this interest be? 738, that's a lie. Which bank, which MMF will give you that amount of money? It is 73, so they'll give me 74 shillings. They'll give me 74 shillings. So the question is, honestly, is it worth it? Is it worth it? But I give them 1,000 today, 
end of the year, they give me 1,074 shillings. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? <laughs> Doesn't charge any fee. Even if they don't charge any fees, you know, even if they don't charge any fees, it means that this will be nine. So even if they were to give you 90, even if they were to give you 90, because I know I've seen people complaining that the CIC rate which I saw being advertised is not the, is not the rate that I got my interest at, meaning that there is a, a problem with what here. You know, most MMFs give like uh, the after tax return you will get. So CIC has not given that, which of course is quite wrong in terms of comparisons, in terms of comparison. You know, most of the investors outside here, they look at uh, CIC is giving 9 point something percent. The other one has quoted after tax. So it will be seen to be quite what here, quite bad. So people will shy away from this one and yet this company was giving what here, the truth. That is why the regulator, the regulator of these MMFs should be very clear and tell these MMFs, all of you guys should give the rate of return after tax and after your service fees, like what I've done here, this working that I did here, all of them, they should be able to uh, have some framework that they use for reporting their rate of returns. Now, it doesn't matter. Assuming what this person is telling us is correct, even if they were to give you 90, Bob, for a thousand shillings, for a thousand shillings, do, do you think in this case, ladies and gentlemen, do you think, ladies and gentlemen, do you think, ladies and gentlemen, that this thing is worth it? Is it worth it really? Even if it's at 90, even if it's at 10%, we give you a thousand, you give us a hundred. Yes, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised, Esther. This is a very good return because the other side of the coin is for you to go and put this money in the account. If you're to put this money in the account without fixing it, and this is what makes most banks very happy, you're not fixing it. You're simply sending this money to your bank account, your bank account every day. You will not get even 1%. Meaning that whatever you'll be getting here as 137,800 at the end of the year, I mean, will do you worse because of what your time value of money. At least when you are getting this, even, you, you know, this is quite close to our inflation rate. When you are getting this kind of a, an interest rate, then at least your inflationary adjustment has been taken care of. It's much better than getting zero. This is the thing that most students don't understand, right? You know, when, for example, you are to keep, if you are to keep this amount in your M-Pesa, and I'm so sure most of us keep our monies in M-Pesa because you don't understand this MMF. Instead of having like 3,000 in your M-Pesa the whole week, what you do, you do, throw this money to MMF. Keep on throwing money to MMF, right? After all, there you'll be getting, in this case, some small, even if it's just very small, it's some passive what here, some passive income, which is basically going to cushion you against what here, inflation, against inflation. So I would recommend, I would recommend MMFs specifically for purposes of what here, Helping you build your capital, helping you build your capital. Yes, I would recommend MMFs like that. So I'm getting good. Uh, yes, as you throw to MMF and vice versa, there are the transaction costs. And now this is what brings me to Safaricom's Mali Safi. Safaricom's, it's a Mali, Mali Safi. Safaricom, they have partnered with Genghis. Genghis to offer this MMF. And Safaricom, they have already identified the problem with uh, these other platforms. The transaction, what your call cost. And if you see their brochure, they're saying, fine, our rate may not be very attractive, but for us, there will be no transaction cost sending this money to MMF and, of course, withdrawing it. No transaction cost. No transaction cost. You can send it to MMF as many times as you want. Withdraw from their MMF is very stable. Like Safaricom, even if their rate of interest is small, I will always go for it 100% because I know Safaricom is credible. 
The only thing I know they have put in a lot of cost there. Is there someone who knows the cost, the cost, the cost structure of Safaricom's MMF? It would make a lot of sense if you no, don't leave that money there. Please, once you hit end of the year, you have gotten some good money, transfer this money to infrastructure bond like we discussed. And that is why you need to watch the video that I did of government bonds. There is a video that I did of government bonds, which already is on my YouTube. You need to watch that video first. Once you hit this amount, the rate of interest is very small. This is supposed to just help you to save you are saving. Don't take this as an investment. You know, long term is you're investing. Don't take this as an investment plan. No, this is basically a bucket, which is uh, giving you some good platform to save. You're saving, you're saving, you're saving. At the end of the year with the draw, go to the government, look at the Central Bank of Kenya. If they have some infrastructure bond, please buy it. Because the infrastructure bond will give you a rate of return of about 14% per year. And it doesn't have any tax. Infrastructure bond, the withholding tax of 15% is not there. It's not there. So you're getting your money. So it's a tax planning vehicle, tax planning vehicle. So use this to fetch. Use this to fetch your monies. Once you get good savings, go and do what you are, invest. And then you start getting what you are, good returns, good returns. You know, you can't go to government with 100 shillings. But you can go to MMF with 100 shillings. Government, I told you, you need a minimum of what year? 100,000. 100,000 to invest in the government bonds. 100,000. Right? So like now, minimum amount in MMF depends on the company. Like Zimele is 100. Right? Is 100. You get others asking for 2,500 ETC, ETC. Safaricom. Safaricom Mali. Safaricom Mali Safi. What is the minimum? I've not uh, done any business with them. It's a new platform, but I would really want to use, use it for purpose of building my, you know, they are these small, small, like you've saved some 200 for lunch. You've done this and this, these small, small pennies, a little bit, instead of just going and keeping them in a box, you would rather lock them up with Safaricom. So Safaricom, is there somebody who could be having, they're saying it's a hundred as well. It's a hundred as well. So that becomes a very good wallet for you to stash you are small, small coins. They keep on earning uh, some interest for you, which will be able to cover or cushion you against what here? Yeah, inflationary pressures. Inflationary pressures. Inflationary pressures. The regulatory bodies, uh, it's quite, uh, quite uh, a tricky thing. Of course, we know, ladies and gentlemen, once you are given money is as a, a fund, as an institution, when you're running, in this case, yeah, this kind of money is here for, on behalf of people, there are higher chances that uh, you would misappro misappropriate these monies. That is why I would want to leave this for you. Do your own background checks, skepticism. Do your own, I haven't gotten time really to look at uh, those companies. The only company for now that I would vote for 100% because I know how they behave and uh, I know their model is this. But the others really, I don't want to place my fingers in a place where students will come to kill me. For me, I mean only interested in a model that you could use to harvest just a small savings plan. And I think for me now, Safaricom is a tick, tick, tick. I'll not talk about the other companies at all because I could easily be sued, right? I want to avoid that because I haven't really done research on them. I haven't done research on them, but I know Safaricom, you can never go wrong with Safaricom. I know. The Mali rate, somebody said it's about what here? Somebody said it's about, uh, is it 10%? They also have some daily interests, daily interests. Of course, they should not teach you the daily interest and they think that they are a lot. No, 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 that's something very small. It is this 10%, it is this 10% that they'll come and divide by what year 365 very small interest, but you see, it's better than nothing. After all, it's cushioning us again, it's what here, inflation, again, it's inflation, and it's giving us a basket to basically do what you save, because savings, ladies and gentlemen, is not an easy thing. To save, it's not every other person will just wake up in the morning and save, like I remember, 
just the other day, we went to bury a colleague of mine somewhere, right? I'll not mention from where, but uh, we went burying this guy. This is a guy who was getting about 700,000 a month. But now when you go to his home area, he's not done even the simple basics. So now you start looking for, uh, I mean, Mabati left, right, and center, constructing. And this guy was getting 700,000, right? Excel, right? That goes and spends like even 50,000 a week, not a week, just one city, right? In these clubs along uh, uh, Magadi, along at Kitengela, right? And they get that 50, come on, how's your mabati and get you, you, you know the ego, right? The pride in a human being will not allow you to easily save. So what you do, and ensure that you have got a check off systems. That is why myself, I will never allow any money that, uh, for example, is supposed to go to my circle, I always tell my, and I write letters to him. This money, be, as you do a pay slip, put this money there. I would want this money to be checked off there because once it comes even to your pocket, everybody from your home, including your distance relatives, they get to smell that this person has got some money. So you're getting, and because you would want at least to help and uh, at times even show off, you end up giving like everything. And then when you go home, uh, when you become a retiree, You've got nothing. Everybody is laughing at you. People saying, look at this guy. He used to work at KRA. And now here he is like a beggar. Right? Simply because you never knew some of these things here. Right? Right? Great. So the thing is, we need to be very, very careful. Always ensure that you're taking off. I gave you a very good speech in the morning. And I hope you guys are taking these things seriously. I told you in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, if there are things you're supposed to be watching over always, watching over always, number one, you must have this pension scheme. I'll repeat this. And this has to be a private scheme. And go and sit down with your pension scheme fund manager. Tell this pension scheme fund manager, for example, currently I'm getting 1 million. And I will be retiring like myself. I'll be retiring in 16 years. Right now I'm 14. I'll be retiring in 16 years. So you ask this, of course, an exaggerated amount. So you ask this person here, how much do I need to save every month to ensure that when I retire, I will be able to get about 80% of my income, of my salary. Because I don't want a situation where I'm moving from 1 million and then I start getting only the NSSF, 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 NSSF pension of 5,000 per month. Because you see NSSF, you're only contributing 200. If you move from here to here, you will die within two years of your retirement. Trust you, because you know when you are in the 60s, that is when you really want money. You know, people make a wrong assumption in Africa, at least in uh, uh, Asia, UK, that's Europe, USA. Most companies know this thing that when you are old, it's when you need what even lots of money. That's why they have their scheme guaranteeing a minimum of what percentage? 80% on retirement, you continue getting back, right? But in Africa, we make a very bad assumption that the moment you hit 60, that all your children are well-schooled, you will not be having it. No, things happen. Maybe somebody married at the age of 50, perhaps in this case, yeah, their first wife, unfortunately died at 50 and they had to marry, right? At the age of 60, you'll be lucky if you'll be having all your brothers, all your sisters uh, living. At the age of 60, 70 there, you are looking at your extended family, your financing, your extended family. So you need a lot of money. And that is why you need to start really planning for what year this invest. Pension schemes also give good returns. They give good long-term returns. Good long-term returns. Great. Number two, ensure that you have got a secure, secure, risk-free, secure, risk in your portfolio, secure, risk-free, long-term investments. And here, I really encourage you guys to buy what we call the infrastructure, what here, government bonds, infrastructure government bonds. You're going to buy like a 21-year bond. So once you have a long-term bond, you know these bonds, they're only not known in Kenya, but when you go outside there, even municipals, county governments outside there, they issue their own bonds and they are very strong. And you know, in the government, you can never, it's risk-free. You can never lose your money there, right? So once you buy an infrastructure bond, which in this case is 21 year, and then you layer, it's called layering. 
Layering, it means that uh, basically you have an infrastructure bond for January, another infrastructure bond if possible for February, another one for, so that, uh, you know, these bonds, they give uh, interest every six months. So once you have got many of these infrastructure bonds, you'll have like this month, you have a cash flow from the bond, another month you have a, and that is going to continue for 21 years. And of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, once in this case here, you clear some of them, some of them, you, when the government wants to refund, you'll tell them, no, please roll over, roll over. Right, right. And then of course, now once I do this very well, don't I can't count this as a, an investment. This is basically a saving. This is a saving, MMF is a saving. Once I clear my bucket, savings bucket is full, I need to transfer these monies here. Because I would need in this case here, like a small apartment as well for purpose of fighting with the tenants when I'm old and of course getting something to do, right? But I love these two because they are what your passive incomes, especially this. I would rather miss everything, but get it right here. <clears throat> Why, as I told you, this one, for example, you will come, get people advising you at your old age because you can sell this at the secondary market. So at old age, people will tell you, sell that, and then we do. And of course, we'll fail that test. We are human beings. We are prone to fail. And we fail many times. So you sell this, and then you squander the money. At the end of the day, you start struggling. But you see, pension, you cannot squander pension. Especially when you have hit that 60, that monthly pension, that is with you till you do what you die, right? So even if something comes and they tell you sell this apartment, I'll sell the apartment, but I can't sell this right. This right will be with me forever, will be with me forever. So now, ladies and gentlemen, that is it from my end. Not unless there is anything that is really burning, I would want to stop there. And of course, I'm going to upload this video on YouTube. I can see still students asking me about the interest rates of MMF, like Safaricom. I want to believe now I've shown you a formula. You can go to Safaricom's page, read the interest rate and see whether if it's before tax, ensure that you deduct that tax, ensure you deduct the service charge of Genghis. I can see they have also some 0.2% of KCB, KCB. That's a service charge, you must add it there or subtract from the, so that you get there. If I, I've given you the way. So now it's upon you to go and do your research, more research, but most importantly, we shall not be putting our monies at home under mattresses and those small boxes. Those small boxes, we refuse, we refuse, we refuse. So I'll take a few questions. <clears throat> Direct investments in circles, yes. Direct investments in circles, I would want to really have this. I can see somebody who is uh, giving me a good private uh, chat here, whether I could promote their circle. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, we reach there. For now, I haven't done that research really. I haven't done that. I have to do a lot of research. I don't want to be part of uh, this Ponzi scheme where I recommend a circle, which I've not even heard of. And then later on, I'll be blamed. As I told you in some message, most of these guys here are my students, current former students. So we have some history with them. And of course our future with them. I don't want to mess this future relationship. So I can't really recommend anything for now. I can't recommend anything for now. I can see Kelvin, a good student here, telling me that Safari Mali fees some of the fees you should expect include 2% fund management fee charged per annum by Genghis Capital per annum. I love that. So it's not per hundred when they get, no, 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 per annum. I love that. Trustee bank fee, which is 0.2% per annum, 0.15% per annum as custodial fee subject to a minimum. If you have that minimum, I like that. But even if those should not scare you, those should not scare you at all. Win the class for circles, yes, I'll be able to do that, yes. Is what others are paying hundreds of thousands to learn. God bless me, yes. You, you know, I've seen it all. I have seen it all. I've seen it all. I really sympathize, especially with these young men. Most of these young men and women who are here, I know you guys are quite what you yeah, are, empowered and endowed. You have resources, only that you don't know. You don't know. Like over Christmas, for those of us, I don't know where they are here, who take something that is uh, quite harder than water. 
Could you kindly give me on average, how much have, did you pay to some of these uh, hotels over Christmas? Don't shy away. Just give me an average. How much do you pay yourself? The bill, don't shy away. Just tell me. Of course, even myself, I must have uh, enjoyed with family, isn't it? I know the amount that I spent. I know the amount that I spent. Please talk to me. I'm your dad here, CPA dad. I'm your CPA dad. Please talk to me. Average. So El Chapo says 10,000. Thank you very much. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10, 7K. 25,000, Veronica, that's quite a heavy one. You must have traveled or perhaps something like that. That's 900 for four people. Okay, great. Great. I I'm getting feedback now here. I'm getting feedback. I'm getting feedback. I'm getting feedback. How much? How much do we spend? 8,000, okay. 8,000, okay. Great. I think that is reasonable. The figures that I do not like uh, seeing, ladies and gentlemen, are these guys you go drinking with or eating with, and then you see them splashing like at the end of the party, 40, 50,000? No. And I love it because you guys spent over Christmas, and I believe you spent this with family. Great. But like now, when you go around these hotels, right, along Sika Road, wherever, on Saturday and Sunday, you always get those hotels fill to capacity. I'm not telling you not to enjoy. Enjoy, but don't overspend. Ahead of us with this global crisis, you need that shilling that you're giving out easily like never before. Right? Please get away of uh, a check off. Never allow yourself to have what? Excess liquidity. Rich people don't have excess liquidity for just dishing out. But unless it's corruption money, if it's corruption money, for example, you've gotten in this case at your workplace and you are a corrupt, unfortunately, you are a corrupt person, then that one you can throw it the way you wish. But if it's hard earned money, ladies and gentlemen, ensure that eh, that excess liquidity is what? Just be left with lean meat. What in this case is enough for your survival? For survival. Otherwise, if you get yourself with a, like you're earning 300,000 and this money hits your account, you will end up being nothing. Nothing. And yet you have a big potential of saving, saving, saving like this. Once you do these crazy investments, you'll get yourself getting into a big, big business. Because you see with these government bonds, now you can borrow easily. People will love you. These bankers will love you, right? So you'll be able to finance your entrepreneurship journey very easily, right? And once you start your entrepreneurship journey easily, then you'll be able to employ people. The community will be happy. But these guys you're going to spend with 50,000, you, you. One day, you will remember me. And I always go controversial. You know even what I told you about wedding money. That every, these, some of these stuff that we do, ladies and gentlemen, they are not bad. They are good. But let us be what here? Let's be modest. When I get a friend of mine going to borrow from Wasibu Sako, three million for a wedding. Why? Why? Right? That three million would have given you like a good plot somewhere. And at least you build your own house at a tender age, around 30, 30 years, you have your own house, you're not paying rent. I mean, that's a big plus. With 3 million, if you add something small, you have a very good, why should you just want to splash a lot of money to people simply because you want to be seen that uh, if you did a wedding, yeah, of course, don't take me wrongly, but this is for the future generation. Please, it doesn't have to be 3 million. It can be done with a quite less amount. And still, your wedding will prosper, will prosper, will prosper, will prosper, right? So everything needs what we call what here, modesty, mod moderation. Let's be moderate in everything that we are doing and think deeply, deeply, deeply. Now that uh, you have seen students you are, you know, colleagues you are with uh, in high school, now you want to show them that you are there. There's nothing. These opportunities come to us, right? Not many times, trust you me. Those chances don't, they're not very many. They're not very many. You squander a little bit like this, you'll get yourself in problems. You need to be wise, you need to know pensions, you need to know about circles, ETC. And most importantly, never allow yourself to have too much. Nobody has ever had too much within their hands and they succeeded. No. Thank you so much. If I continue, I'll become a preacher, which is against, which is against today's. Uh, Let's save, let's save. <laughs> Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. Oh, 
how can I forget to market my college? Ah, this one would have been a big, big problem. This one here would have been a big, big problem. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have never heard about me before, is there anybody who does not know this Mualimu? Is there anybody who is meeting this Mualimu for the very first time? For the very first time. Anybody? Wow, okay. El Chapo, Vincent, and the way I think I'm popular. The way I think I'm popular, then I need really to market myself even better. My name is Dr. Joshua Aura. I teach at RCM Online College. RCM Online College, which currently is the biggest and of course best CPA college in East Africa. When I say it's the biggest, I'm so sure like the new students can't know what I'm talking about. My advanced level, AFM, for example, class last semester, I had 216 students, 216 students who are studying with me through Zoom. And of course, more than this number were also studying using my books, stroke what here, my videos. So meaning that in the advanced level, I must have taken, just in AFM alone, I must have taken like 500 students to CASNEB examination halls. Which college takes that kind of a, a number to do exams? No one. Right? So what does this mean? That now students have been able to really recognize the fact that uh, online is the way to study CPA. That uh, the era of you moving up and about, looking for physical classrooms to study is yesterday's concept. You would need a situation where you are able to attend this kind of uh, a meeting webinar, live webinar, and then, of course, immediately after the meeting, immediately after the class, you are able to get a video link because like now this has been recorded. So you'll be able to get an opportunity to review the videos. This is not like the physical classroom where a teacher walks out and that particular class session perishes. No. No. Right? Here you are coming, ladies and gentlemen, in this case, you are studying live and you shall be able to get what here? Videos after videos after. The most important thing is that we are bringing this classroom like now we are doing tonight right to the comfort of your sitting room. You can imagine if I had called the people to town to give this kind of a speech. I'm not so sure of the numbers that I would have gotten, but I'm assured that I would not have gotten more than 50 people coming to town because of the logistics. But right now, especially if I gave good notice, if for example, I started advertising this session like a month ago, I'm so sure I would have gotten like a thousand. It's only that perhaps I'm poor in planning. No, no, no. People tell me that I think very fast, right? That's why I just wake up, woke, woke up, uh, woke up yesterday and thought of, I mean, what of these investment sessions like that? But if I, we had planned this. So I'm trying to talk to you on a very serious concept of uh, power being in this internet. This virtual is the way to go. These monies you are spending uh, every day Every day, for example, on the road, right? You can save that money and do something. Start growing your investment portfolios, right? You can save that money and buy yourself, for example, a very good laptop, which will be able to use to hone your 21st skills, which are much needed, like the data analytics, which we also teach here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we charge 4,000 Kenya shillings per paper, 4,000 Kenya shillings per paper, and we teach all levels, right from CPA 1 to CPA 6. Nowadays, they talk of foundations and what year adva, all papers. And each paper is how much? 4,000. If you're interested in these classes or if you've got a son who is in section one, foundation level, doing financial accounting, buy those guys, uh, put infrastructure in the house, good internet, good laptop, or even a good phone. Hit us, call us. Our number is 0719 525,000. 0719 525,000. 0719 525,000, and we shall be able to give you, yes, online CPA classes. Online is the way. Let's embrace technology. It's the way to go. It is the way to go. Otherwise, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure hosting you tonight. Good night. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, if we don't meet again virtually, I would want to take this opportunity to wish you a prosperous 
2023. And of course, I wish and pray that good tidings coming from our Lord will flow your way in 2023. Bye-bye and amen to that.